It is James Fathers Rights and Resources hashtag how I got custody. So I got to ask you a question. You should sit here and think hard about it because most people don't think that hard and they just let life pass them by and let answers pass them by and don't want to latch on to them and do anything. What do, what do you really want to do here or get out of my videos? Are you here just being entertained? Because I'm up here giving you information that I obtained through blood, sweat, and tears. And just like any somebody who made it out of an impoverished home, became a CEO, became a successful sports star, when everybody told them they couldn't do it, you know, and they do a clinic or they do a, a training video or a basketball camp to show people how they became what they became. You know, I'm on here giving answers and stuff and I get comments in here like, well, we tried that too and we said this and that and they didn't listen. For example, on Facebook, I posted how a guy went into ex parte emergency courtroom and got four days a week visitation because he argued the way we talked about him arguing and he won. Then some lady got in the comments and said, we tried that too and we lost. And we told the judge, well, you know, the child's gonna be sad. That's not the argument. So this happens all the time and it drives me nuts. I, I'm on here telling people how to win and I won and you would think the audience would say, oh my God, how did you do that? I've been getting my butt kicked. What do I do? Or let me get a console with you or where, which video of yours should I watch? Instead, people are so stupid to their own detriment and they don't give a damn about their kids enough to have some damn common sense and exert some effort and say, wait, how do I do that? They just say they're so defeated, they're so beat down after they lost, and even after I respond and say, well, you argued wrong, there's a right way to argue and win, they don't even ask how to do that. It's almost like you lost your damn mind in all common sense when you went to court, and I understand it'll mess up your head, and you'll get traumatized. But here's some answers right in front of your face, and then I tell you, that's not the argument. You need to argue the science and the data, and you need to unbrainwash the judge. And because you went in with a losing argument, like, think about this. If you're getting ready for a final exam and you don't study and you don't go to a workshop that the professor has where they're going to give you answers to the test and you didn't go to class and then you see somebody get an A plus or a hundred on the exam and you, and you say, I showed up for the exam too and I got a 65 and they got a hundred and they, t and they say how much time they spent and studied and stuff in the next semester you retake the class and you don't do what they did and you're still complaining what the hell is wrong with you now i wouldn't be yelling and talking like this if somebody would say oh yeah you're right james we didn't argue the right way what do we do to argue but they want to argue with me why they should stick to their losing argument or They'll argue with me and say, yeah, I understand, but we went in to argue this and it's, the, the judges just argued a rule in my favor. You stupid dumbass! You just told me that you argued the wrong way and now you're saying there's no hope because you lost with the wrong argument. That's like saying, well, I flunked the test. There's no way I could, pa I could take the class again and pass. Yes, there is. Go in and do it with what winners or successful people did. But some of you people are so freaking retarded and stupid, I'll have the answers and then you won't latch on. Then I'll say, well, you need to do the argument that worked for me. And then you'll say, but we tried this losing argument and lost and the system is so biased. And I say, the problem is you have to unbrainwash them from their bias by using this argument. I'll give another example of that. If you are a dad and you withhold the child from the mother, she will run into ex parte and get custody because the courts are programmed to think if you take a child away from the mother, then that's an emergency and that's child abuse and that's traumatizing the child. So you go in and argue that. But you're too lazy, shiftless and stupid and don't have common sense that God gave a damn monkey. That's why the system ain't changing. And it's frustrating as hell for me because I'm sitting here giving you answers and I had to go through hell to get them and I'm offering them for cheap or sometimes free and your stupid dumbass wants to wallow and put your head in the sand and cling to your like um, Stockholm Syndrome because you have a relationship with your own ego or your losing argument and you don't want to say, oh, I was wrong. Let me try again and get off my lazy punk ass and try again and do what worked for James or what worked for his client or what worked for thousands of other clients. 
Now, some of you, I know I'm not going to reach ever because you're just dumb and stupid. And that's why you're in this situation with three babies, moms who are attacking you once because you can't keep it in your pants. You're too stupid to have any damn common sense to wake up and say, man, this might be the third chick who's playing me again. Maybe I shouldn't have a kid with her. But if you're being stupid and you realize it, then there's some hope because half of these moronic, stupid, dumbed down, airheaded, brainless zombies don't realize it when the answer is right in front of their face. I mean, the Pharisees saw God right in front of their face and they didn't even recognize him. So humans will see answers right in front of their face and not recognize them. But people are arguing with me why they should lose and say, well, there's no hope, there's no chance. The judge is going to do whatever they say. Yeah, as long as you keep with the losing arguments. Are you getting this yet? And I keep saying the same thing because it's a phenomenon with my gender, how stupid they are. Stop being stupid. Here's the here's the simp here's the simple of uh, the simplicity of the whole thing. I won in court. You should try and do what I did. The end. Stop arguing with me. Do you think I even, I even want to sit up and listen to your stupid ass, lame punk ass, bitch, lazy argument that you lost in court for? I'm here to help you, dumbass, and you don't even want the help, and it's sitting right in front of your face. That's what's the hopeless part of my gender. It's not that the judges are biased. It's that you won't get off your lazy ass because you're too scared to confront a judge and say, Your Honor, you're biased. You're thinking that it has to be an emergency before I get custody of the kid or go to ex parte. This so this lady is arguing on behalf of her stupid ass boyfriend or husband who lost. And she said, the courts are saying they won't give me give and the dad visitation to ex parte unless he argues unless there's an emergency for the that endangers the child. You stupid dumbass moron. You we just said what it is. The, the judges don't think it's a, abusive, the child's in danger of abuse when they you take the child from the father. That's what the stupid judges think. Judges in Jim Crow South thought black people were animals or subhuman. And people had to come in there and say, no, they're humans just like us. Or that women were second class citizens. Or that Japanese citizens could be thrown in concentration camps. Somebody had to wake, wake up and say, no, Japanese Every single Japanese citizen is not a spy. That They have constitutional rights to be not be thrown in there. Somebody had to stand up and unbrainwash the judges. Do you get it yet, dumbass? I'm talking like this because if I go in there and talk nice, like all these other people, like um, Dad talked today, that punk-ass little bitch who all he wants to do is talk about the negative and horror stories, or Judge Anthony, all these hustler cons. They just keep saying and doing the same thing. The lead attorney says... Yeah, the system's biased. And then he says he loved it when he was representing a mom against a dad with no attorney because they were lunch meat. You guys keep doing the same old, same old. And then I tell you, here's what you do different to win. You're like, we can't do that because we lost. You did the same old, same old, you dumbass. Stop doing that. Learn how to win. Talk to a winner. It's really simple. And you're a freaking stupid ass retard sellout. You don't deserve your kids if you don't want to grow some balls and actually fight for your kids the right way. Or if you want to get caught up in your ego and say, well, I tried to do it this way and I, I want to win on my terms the way that I want. I don't want to listen to a winner like James. I want to do it the way that I want to do it. The end. Get over yourself. You did it wrong. Humble yourself. I did a bunch of stuff wrong, and then I learned from my wrongs and got it right, and now I'm sharing it with you, and 90% of you punk-ass, dumb, lazy bitches don't want to do it because you're scared, or because you'd have to try again, or you'd have to exert some effort. Wake the hell up, grow some balls, stop being a stupid dumbass with less sense than God gave a monkey, okay? If I have some answers on here, I don't want to listen to your loser story. I just showed you the answers. Do you think Michael Jordan wants to listen to somebody who said, you can't make your high school team after being cut after a sophomore year? Wake the hell up, people.